Wow! Loads of certificates and awards. Welcome to Leverage. On today's episode on Leverage, we'll be speaking with the CEO and founder of Efficacy Homes and the Efficacy Group, Dr. Oyeleke Achiboye. He'll be sharing with us today how he has built a company in just five years from nothing to a multi-billion real estate company with portfolios outside the shores of Nigeria, even in the US. He'll be sharing with us how to compete with bigger brands in a capital-intensive industry. Let's be challenged. So let, let, let's start from the beginning. Where did you go? Yeah. 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 So it looks like you've always had your entrepreneurial roots way back, even when you were back in school from your school days. Share a little bit about that, how that that one of the things And then uh, I'm going to relate to that really. I'm, I'm struggling to relate to that. I, I did that uh, while I was in SSU and I was working with students. And every opportunity to use on the national system. I hope you had shoes there. Ah, well, I actually went out there. Yeah, so. <laughs> <laughs> okay, alright. Yeah. And so, uh, then, uh, when the I God made a way So, how did you make that entrance into real estate? Because nothing of this seems to be. I finished the the construction. yeah. But like the next day I went to the Bosic Construction the next job I the University of Construction So, I started the So, at what point did you decide to break up? Start your own making Oh, I 
Then for it, we do have in our software to be paid of content, free structural design. And then I hope that we also, with our management skill, we advise customers this and that much more. So we are any X amount of money, we let you know what is the kind of art you can do. Why not let's factor this kind of design for you? You go with this design, you can do this out in two years, three years. It will not affect your cash flow, your family savings, your rent, your normal activities. So, couple with our other financial schemes, we are able to advise clients very well and also give them good And we also try to give ourselves very good exposure for training for staff. Equipments abroad, using very good customer technologies for construction. So that gives us the opportunity to be prepared. We prepare the task of service, construction, after service delivery, and then transit. So your your client basically are able to without committing any finance, any money, you can actually judge your competence risk by mm -hmm. having mm -hmm. money to advise mm -hmm. yourself to them before you commit their money. So, if you are going to come to some work away, but what we do is we always like to also, as part of our program, we want to empower people and contribute to society. So, um, academic background, your education, I said in one of our chats that you consume knowledge, you gathered, uh, you gathered the scores of degrees, certificates, yes. Stanford, Harvard, MIT. Uh, how do you, I mean, how do you want to be a doctor, a PhD or whatever? How do you, do you why, why, why such knowledge drive? Okay, okay, I'm going to try. One of, one of the things I'm driving on the way is if I have a business and I'm running a business, yeah. if I really want to compete, I need to be an authority in the field. Yeah. So, if you are in the construction industry, and one of the key things if you say as a patient, I have an MBA, so it's good for me to, if I want to manage this operation effectively. I've yeah. seen from the other companies I was coming from, one of my former boys. Very intelligent guy, but he wants to keep building the management skill of 1998 for 2008 business. It's not going to work. And I need to keep being at the top of everything, learning, keep learning, keep growing my, my mind, developing my mind. And then also, I also do project management, which is key for what I do. Yeah. And then I pay in housing and then estate development is also key for what I do. And I also want to have a negotiation in every transaction I do, every day I negotiate the as well. And then um, and being able to make sure I get the best out of everything is key for the success of the organization. So the more for me, if I want to be the preferred, I want to save costs, I want to reduce the money and pay. The more I save, the more better for me because there's a benchmark already. I can't increase my price more than a certain percentage. Everybody knows what is going out there. And this guy is yeah. for five now. I can't say my own step. So the more I can bargain and reduce and get a good value for my money. Wow. Wow. So that's the journey for They are necessary for business. <laughs> if you look at the few cases of Sulu now, all your investing in their bodies. How much can you say your portfolio is worth as of 2014? Now, nah, you want me to say that? <laughs> 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 yeah, I don't want to say that. All the people are probably not the best now for what it's worth. Well, one of the things we do is a range of We also do we invest. So, as a real estate, one of the things we do as an organization, we need a place to be on. Other real estate companies have started before you see yeah. where that is. Some of them are not existing. Yeah. One of the reasons is that we are so dependent on getting jobs on contracts, meeting people to be. So, what we are trying to do is to create a, a, a steady or consistent system for ourselves by making sure that we keep investing in real estate, we keep buying raw land, we keep developing raw land yeah. to estate. So even if outsiders don't give us construction, we have something in-house. Mm -hmm. 
So you keep the best things you do. So we have estates in Abuja, we have land in Abuja, we have estates 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 in Abuja, we Counts definitely are not. Counts. Everyone counts. So it's not like you can be very different from them. Obviously, very different. Yeah, 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 the cultural sector and this is one of these one of these the lands, the hectares and the developing components one of the reasons why we started going into a great nation actually by the way and I, I tried to gather information and say I know that great is a major factor in population also and it's one of the easiest way to offer great jobs for people to live there is no CSI you want to tell you as good as so we we decided to start a break uh, last year. And until last year, now we have about 100 hectares of land. We have a new we have a new we have a new job of break. We are planting, planting, and we are also trying to apply some of our young people from here. So we want to have a, a leaf store where we can sell this produce cheap, as cheap as what you get from my tour. From my tour. Keep us all together on my soil and in a more clean and neater environment. You want to create like a farmer's market? Yeah, it's very good. It's very nice to keep. I'm going to provide the money for somebody else like that. Whoa! Whoa! So, when we do that, we had that helps a lot of youths start getting something done and then they also get to feel when you are doing the right questions. We hope that we'll be able to. In the next few months, because we should be able to start farming. Because already our first set of plantings, and even the next couple of months, we start harvesting them. Wow. Let's let's check a piece of our viewers and some tips now. For an average Nigerian, I don't have uh, millions to probably buy a uh, land or a house. Which uh, of the organization is selling, but we just have about a few thousand. How can we just put a good piece of, of property, a good piece of land? And probably most of our outskirts of labor, how would you know that this is the place that is trying to grow, to develop, that you have value in the shortest possible time? What are the things they should look out for? Certain factors that should be there, yeah, certain factors that are behind the development of real estate pricing. You know, it is government presence. Any area that government has to choose interest is in always for the government. We want to provide infrastructure. When there is infrastructure, we can get it in the When there is infrastructure, there will be other areas. And they also look at proximity to basic facilities. Like for instance, if I want to do anything outside the government, I also need to consider the security, maybe on the outskirts. Like uh, there are three artists you can look at, you can look at the right way, you can look at the bed houses, you can look at the way I mean, you can look at what's our address. Out of this, for which one is the more secure? Security wise, electricity wise, infrastructure wise, road network, and proximity to center places, accessibility to good health facilities. If they are able to judge that, then you know, the next thing I need to be found. From the plan government has if they have any proposed future development of anything here, maybe university, health, sports center. How do people like, find that out? That's that part of it. I'm not good thing about Vegas State. I'm not a politician, I can use one. But I know that there are some information that you can easily get, even online. When you go online, check the ministry, they put some of their master plans there. And have a look at it. I go to some Lagos State Government and um, Ministries of the Service, this location, you want to master plan, right? It's something that we can that will show you. So, most of these things I get them online, or I go to their office and give my hands to them, or I go to the seminars, some of these. 
um, seminars and ministry try to attend and that's why you get information on what their plans are. And I know they are plans are trapped. So like because it's uh, a couple of years ago he went to acquire land in the state. So why did they acquire land? I want to know. <laughs> so maybe I need to do this. <laughs> so it's a business <laughs> to move with them for sure. <laughs> then. So you guys do very good. Basically the information and the knowledge the keeps you ahead. Yes, and it's 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 it helps you to make wise decisions. So because if I have one million naira now and I take my one million naira to come back. Out of these places I've listed, it will be the least place I can shift. They are prone to security, traffic. I don't know about the justice. But if they have the domestic problem, now that's a very good thing. That's a very good thing. But they appreciate us. There's a lot of government in the country. So they are different trainings. No way, for instance, a security problem, they have traffic problem. What we will not talk about the experience of that. So you need to look at that also. If you look at the uh, Badagri road, you are doing the road, there is four steps there. In the electricity, there are people living there. So you pay your options, you can put one million naira here now. Also, can I even get the title document? And I'm glad the government can see your work. Can I get to see your work? Can I find my own? I get court cases around there, like for another and a lot of court cases. There are court cases here, and there are violence in this area. That people are presenting Wow. I'm not going to say, um, the, the land owners in Epoe, after watching this, right there, and appreciation level, how <laughs> come <laughs> That has this. No, so, no, we are just reducing that. Case study, yeah. I'm not promoting that. Okay, for instance, you could do, I didn't mention it. Yeah. You could look at Agoa, Binata, those are central locations. Apart from you could do they are all but you get genuine land that is lots of all of them are their challenges. Yes, all of them challenges. So let me see if you can see I'm the UK at the way going in the next couple of years. Wow. Two, three years. Yeah, two, three years. If you can see how it's limited, we need to go by those days. We are trying to build an international branch. We are trying to Active business in the United States, building in the US now. We have subdivisions that are the small estate in the US. In the UK, we are trying to start that rally. And there uh, are those days. I don't want to be the richest man, but I want to be able to be all over the tax lines. There's nothing having money there, and no way that people support. So I'm not aiming to be that good day or the dollar or any country. I want to be somebody that. You are definitely unconsciously walking that path. <laughs> <laughs> oh. what, what, what opportunities, and lastly now, what opportunities in the industry, in the sector, are you identified for people out there, especially people that are not in the country, people outside the diaspora, wondering can we get back home and you know, play some role in this sector? Is it profitable? Any opportunities that you can still identify here? Your returns in Nigeria is very well, very high because in Nigeria we have the population. People buy Nigeria is a cash environment. People buy houses. And then so for the institutions they are beginning to bring their mortgages down to like 16 to 17, 18 percent. But as long as they are in the working class, you can you can do something. So, um, I think for people who want to do real estate in Nigeria, as long as you work with the right team, but once you make the mistake, I've seen, I've seen brothers, I've seen sisters collecting money from the brother and not giving them a house. Even in our estate, the brother sent money, the sister does not send money to me. But because we are an organization, we need to inform the person this is the status quo, this is, these are the pictures, these are the real pictures. pictures. Yeah. Uh -huh. So nobody is so but if you if you work with the wrong set of people, if you collect your money, you come back to Nigeria, they will not show you one push. Uh, that is true of somebody now they will show you pictures of the house in a very developed location whereas they went to build the house in the forest. So really that is wrong. So getting the right people is key. Or investing in Nigeria. Yes, Nigeria, we know they are the good, the bad, the ugly. 
but I am still doing it. Definitely. Yeah. So, we try to do it. Thanks, thanks a whole lot for giving us all the work and let's not share this knowledge. Wow. Any, any last words for you? Yeah. Young people out there. And last word you need to learn. Everything else for this young person that started flat out of now. The way they're not going to mention in the billions. So, Amen. Any, any last words for them? Well, I, I would encourage any listener to this to find their purpose. If you, if you find your purpose, you discover your purpose, it will generate passion. When there is passion, you will be create a plan and you plan very well and there is purpose, it will lead to prosperity. So, the first thing is purpose. Wow. You heard him, Dr. Oyinike Ajibori, sharing with us how you can actually start from nothing and find your way up to running a multinational organization moving from the shores of the country and breaking new ground outside Nigeria. Find your purpose, go out there and make it happen.